This episode was originally written to be the show finale. That in itself is worth a sin. In other news, an explosion was reported by Ponyville's local glitter factory today. My Ponyville. Already getting possessive of Ponyville? Never too early to start staking claims in case you are royalty someday, huh? Canterlot ponies are often pleased at the sight of a stranger dancing on their table. Morning in Ponyville shimmers. Yes, but does Ponyville at Twilight sparkle? <gasps> Theme. Twilight is awfully quick to accept that Rarity has Dash's cutie mark, rather than assume it's a joke, dream, or horrible accident. Instead, she proceeds to casually ask about Rainbow Dash's whereabouts. Larson is credited as the writer, despite the episode being nothing like his original script. Where is Rainbow Dash? Why isn't she handling this? Implying Rainbow Dash is the only weather pony capable of fixing this. Conveniently absent secondary characters, the Apple family and other weather ponies being the most obvious examples, but even the ponies we do see don't seem interested in questioning the cutie mark swap. Oh look, Dash has her real cutie mark back. Disaster averted. Insert hand joke here. Twilight resents delivery ponies. For good reason. Casting a random spell without having a clue what it does. Twilight made out pretty lucky considering no pony died after this. You know things are getting serious when the lights dim themselves. The elements are conveniently sitting in the library. No doubt Celestia had better use for the vault in Canterlot than to guard Equestria's most powerful relics. Twilight explains that the problem can't be solved with simple memory magic, then proceeds to solve the problem with simple memory magic. Overdramatic song makes it evident that the episode expects the audience to go through the five stages of grief in only five minutes. It's pretty clear that this ordeal happens in only a day or two, so... How could Pinky have so disastrously doomed the farm in such a short time? Even after the cutie mark situation is resolved, the majority of the farm would remain like this for years, creating food shortages and destroying the Apple family's source of income. This window style change. Rest of the main six are either brainwashed idiots blindly following unconscious cutie mark orders, or time itself was altered, resulting in everything before this episode being erased and replaced with false memories. Neither of these options make sense. All of Ponyville depends on Pinky to prevent them from experiencing crushing depression and hostility. These background ponies need to get a life away from the main six. The next time a strange glow emits from the bathroom, fear not, for Twilight merely has another mundane idea. Are the animals upset with Rainbow Dash's care, or are they upset about her replacing Fluttershy? Were their memories arbitrarily affected by the spell as well? Fluttershy's mark is also back. Twilight had nothing to worry about after all. These huge snowflakes. Animator probably made Dash's pupils green to function as a green screen, resulting in this discolored mane. There's no time to explain. Sometimes a writer's cries of anguish can leak into the script. This building disappears. Imagine being some pony unaware of all this. Oh look, the main characters are having a musical parade again. I wonder what arbitrary conflict they overcame today. I know how to fix the spell. What's to fix? The spell served its purpose and doubles as a fulfilled prophecy. Twilight's addition of friendship magic is really more of a spell on its own. Twilight owns a time-traveling quill dispenser. New headcanon. Twilight died here and everything after this point is the afterlife. How else do you explain the hellish movies to come? Applejack exclaims, where on earth did she go? But in Equestria, this translates to, where on dirt did she go? We do know Celestia has been looking for a pony predestined to be the princess of friendship, but we still don't know how or why Celestia would know all this. The show's canon gets more and more fragmented as time goes on, but this episode was the tipping point. Random Green Dots Animation Error The number of stars on Twilight's cutie mark always corresponded with the main six, although here we see seven stars. If you look closely, you'll notice that Twilight has wings. This is an obvious animation error, which happens quite often, but Twilight is the most apparent. Cadence adorns the ceremonial headdress, then moments later reverts back to her normal main style. Twilight gets promoted to princesshood after fixing a major disaster of her own doing. Discord should be a super princess by now. This offensive pony breaks the fourth wall to wink at us. This teleporting background pony. I love you too, girls. Yes, but which two? <gasps> Miscolored horn. Tell that to the 2013 bronies watching this live while in the fetal position.
such a long, long way. <laughs> You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into... <laughs>